Tailgate Talk fans, today we're going to look at a new project. We're going to install the Max Fan Deluxe in the Coachman Catalina here. So uh, you're probably already seen like 10 videos of this online already, but stick with me here. I think I'm going to be able to save you a ton of time. See, the difference in my video is I'm going to show you up front the tools that you need to be successful and get this done quickly. So let's have a look. So here we are on the roof of the Catalina. This is the original vent. So this choker's been in here for like 10 years. This lap sealant's been here for 10 years. So it's gonna be a real pair to get off. So let's go over here and have a look at the tools that we've got to do this project. Uh, first and foremost, uh, brought my blower up. Uh, there's nothing better than having a clean work site. And uh, so you don't get trash in your sealant and all that kind of stuff. Uh, second, a power cord, obviously. I like this type because it's got a hook on it. And uh, you can keep it hooked to something up here so your power cord doesn't drop. And uh, there's the, the vent fan. But let's see. So like I said, the very first thing is we've got to get that lap sealant off. So we got uh, a collection of metal scrapers here. Uh, the problem with that is uh, this, these metal scrapers, obviously a lot sharper. And this is a rubber roof, so gotta be super careful. Now, if you have access to, uh, this is a uh, actually a trim removal kit. Uh, but within that are various types of uh, nylon scrapers, uh, thicknesses and such. So that's gonna be a lot safer to use uh, getting that sealant up. And I might need a little uh, mallet uh, to tap here and there uh, for those uh, tough spots that won't come up. Now, this is optional. It's about 65 degrees today, so it's a little on the cool side. May need a little heat to get that uh, sealant. Uh, kind of woke it up and so I could remove it. Now I've laid these tools out kind of in the order that you're gonna use them. So, uh, we've gotten to this point. We've pretty much got all the sealant off and uh, we're ready to put the max fan in. Uh, we want to prep the area. Now, I've seen other people use denatured alcohol. Uh, to me, the problem with that is it can discolor your roof and uh, discolor a lot of other things for that matter. Uh, so if you use this, be super careful. Might want to test it. I'm personally going to use just some regular rubbing alcohol and uh, some cloths here uh, to clean, get the area nice and clean uh, before I put down uh, the, uh, the seal. So, Here's the big question. In the uh, manual for the Max Fan, it says to use silicone. Now I've seen other people use uh, butyl tape. I have both. Oh, side note here, using butyl tape. If it's hot outside, uh, this stuff can be a gooey mess real fast. So uh, tip for you is store it in your freezer uh, the night before you use it, and that'll keep it uh, more hard and pliable and easier to work with. So let the debate rage on in the chat about which one you would use, the silicone or the butyl tape. Uh, the RV dealership I deal with, uh, they said use butyl tape. So that's what I'm gonna do. So once we got it in, uh, we're going to use uh, lap sealant to polish that off and uh, the screws that uh, hold in the fan itself uh, may have to uh, drill a tap hole. Uh, so we got a little collection of bits there and then uh, coming to the end there, hang in there. Uh, last thing is a power screwdriver. Now the, the key detail of this is uh, having one that has a clutch on it. So you can set this clutch uh, real low so uh, you don't spin off uh, screw heads or drive them in too far and uh, end up bending uh, the beauty ring that goes around that or the fan itself. So that's about it, I've got all my all my screws up here and uh that's for the entire kit inside and outside and then a, a tape measure just in case i need to uh, measure something uh, the manual says measure out uh, like two inches uh, from the opening uh, to put your put your one of your sealants on whichever one you're going to use your job is going to go much much faster if you collect your tools uh, get them in place and have them handy instead of trying to climb up and down the ladder 50 times 
uh, getting the tools you need as you need them. I've seen people do that in other videos and they end up saying, oh, I got the fan installed in four to five hours. I truly do not believe this is a four to five hour project, but we'll see. I got all my tools in place. And uh, as the saying goes, plan the work and work the plan. So let's go. I hope you can see what time it is. It was 328. I started this at 317. I'm already halfway done. And uh, easily the MVP, or I should say MVT, most valuable tool so far for this project is this five in one painter's tool. Now, again, this is metal. My roof is rubber, so I gotta be super careful. So a tip for you is, uh, as you're scraping, always scrape towards your vent, okay? So if you slip, you're just gonna hit metal. If you're scraping outward and you slip, you know, then you got another step. So in less than 30 minutes, I got all of the ceiling off of here uh, with this. And then I got all of the screws out with this guy. So pretty fast. Now, when I say got all the ceiling off, let's zoom in just a little bit here. You can still see that uh, once I pull the, the vent out, I'm gonna have another layer of sealant here that I still gotta deal with. And that's where the nylon tools are gonna come in handy. So uh, one quick side tip, uh, as you can see, I've got plenty of shade and you're gonna want that. Otherwise you're gonna be cat on a hot tin roof. So here we are inside of the Catalina and uh, this is pretty standard stuff. We've got the beauty ring uh, in here and it's got, it's got four screws in it. So those screws got to come out. And uh, let me show you the tools we're gonna be using inside. Uh, we've got a multimeter and uh, that's just in case we have a question about uh, positive and negative uh, wires. Uh, we've got uh, sh strippers and crimpers here. I uh, got two different sets. Uh, I haven't really looked at the the uh, the connectors that they gave me, so I just went ahead and brought two sets. I got a tape measure so I can measure the depth of the ceiling and uh, be able to mark uh, this beauty ring here. And of course, you're going to need. I brought a sharpie and a pencil. wasn't sure which would write on it. And then uh, I brought a uh, steel steel ruler. So once I once I mark my points on here, I can draw a line uh, between them because uh, your ceiling may not be, it may be thicker on one side and, and shallower on the other side. Uh, so you'll have to connect the dots. Now, as far as cutting that goes, <clears throat> uh, a lot of people use uh, these power uh, oscillating uh, multifunction tools, and I'm sure that'll work. Uh, this thing is super thin though. So I thought, heck, let me, let me just try this uh, coping saw here. And then of course, uh, back to the uh, power screwdriver uh, with the clutch function. So just a quick side note, if you're stressing about cutting this and getting it perfect, don't, okay? So here's here's the one that I took out. As you can see, uh, wow, uh, some jack leg uh, really put a hurting on that thing. But uh, you know, once it's installed, you can't see it. And uh, so if you get off your line a little bit, hey, no tears, okay? It's gonna be fine. Uh, so anyway, just wanted to point that out. And uh, yeah, one, one other small thing, uh, a lot of trash fell out of the ceiling on mine. Uh, so you might wanna have a power break. So we have a winner, the NVT of removing the fan from the hole is, well, it's a trifecta. Uh, we've got this wide nylon scraper. I was able to really get up under there and evenly, that's the key word, evenly apply pressure and get it up. And for some areas that were stuck, I actually use this. Again, this is a trim removal tool. I was actually able to get under there and pry a little bit. And for those areas where I could not uh, get it started, I had the little mallet here to to kind of hammer it in. Now, going back to uh, the very beginning, we had this question of using uh, butyl tape versus silicone. Silicone recommended uh, in the instructions for the fan. Uh, butyl tape right here, no doubt. So my next step is uh, cleaning as much of this lap ceiling off 
and as much as the butyl tape as I can getting that off and then taking some alcohol and cleaning that up real nicely. So, so here's a quick tip for you. I'm finding that the easiest way to get the butyl tape portion up is just simply to roll it with your finger. Let it stick to itself. <laughs> I just, I can't say enough about this tool right here. This really saved the day. This is definitely the N MVT, most valuable tool. Uh, heat gun, uh, close second, but I won't harp too much on that and I won't encourage you to use it because uh, yeah, you can uh, have a mistake and melt your roof. So uh, I won't encourage that, but uh, using this tool, uh, a reminder that working towards the middle is the best thing to do instead of working out this way. So if you do have a slip up and a mistake, uh, you don't damage your roof. Now, when you get your, your vent fan out, you may find something like this. Uh, I call this mildew. Uh, someone else may call it black mold, but we never call it black mold because uh, someone's gonna show up from the EPA and take your kids and put them in foster care if they know you have black mold in your house or your camper. So let's don't do that. Uh, I'm gonna finish up here. And uh, one last thing, I will give you a final report of how long this project took. Ladies and gentlemen, I have one more pro tip for you. Now in other videos, I've seen this pointed out as well. As you can see, this there's supposed to be a screw that goes in here. And uh, as you can see, the holes are not lining up. Now what I've seen uh, plenty of other people do is just kind of jam the screw in there and start screwing uh, This is not the way to do it. What you want to do is get something like this. This is a tiny Phillips head screwdriver get that in there Force it in there at an angle like so and then wick it down Like Hang on Force it in there Yeah Force it in there and then pry down now you can see that the hole is lined up. So don't. So here we are, we're in the bathroom. We've got it installed. We've got the batteries in the remote. But hey, first thing, I'd really appreciate a like and a subscribe. That's what help, helps me keep going. And uh, so here we go. Hit the power button. Boom! Oh yeah, that feels nice. Hey, one more power tip for you. Uh, a light, you're gonna want a light because when you unhook your power up here, uh, it gets very dark in this small bathroom. So you're gonna want that. And uh, one last thing, I started this project at 3.15, it's 5.45 now. So that's two and a half hours, including shooting this video. So again, work the plan, plan the work, and this is gonna work out just fine for you.